That's okay. We could put a TV here and then bring up the news. Hello, and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu Gi Oh! podcast. I'm your host, Jake, and tonight I am joined by Ben from Nolly TCG. Hello. And no one else. <laughs> There's an empty is the mask in the mask can frame? There's a mask here. And Mr. Noisy Aircon is our third guest. Well, he's always our fourth guest. He yeah, gets true. bumped. He gets bumped up. Yeah, he's up to third Billy. Okay. We haven't given um, Mr. Mask a name. Actually, Mr. Mask is usually out of frame. Yeah, he's normally and, out of frame. And he he may well still be out of frame. <laughs> Sometimes he's in frame. Sometimes. But Sometimes. not not today. How was our week in Yu-Gi-Oh, Ben? Uh, my week was actually not that bad. I played Black Wings tonight. Uh, I went two two. I was two zero, and I was like, things are going pretty good for me. And then I got skill drained, and I was like. Things going less good for me. <laughs> I got to do full ca- full combo on camera, or like full combo, because I was playing the Eldritch. I was like, "There's no point in me going full combo." Um, but yeah, that was fine and dandy, I guess. Um, and then yeah, round three, I paired Jesse. We just had a fun back and forth game. Uh, there was times where I was like, "I'm just gonna make this dumb card." Like I made, I could I had the choice of scythe locking him or making full armor master, and I was like. Full armor master. <laughs> Out we come. <laughs> um, yeah, that was my night. My rounds, my two wins were fun. Uh, one of them I should, probably shouldn't have won. It was simply because, like, I just forced. I knew we were going to time for a while, so I kind of set myself up to have the advantage when time was called, like when we got to time, and then I just won because of that. Mm. So like, it's I, a very interesting choice of words you used. Well, I, like, took the win. I had full control of the game. And, like, I took the win with, like, 1 minute 30 left. And then from there, it was just, like, cool. I knew I, he would always... He was always going to choose first. And it was going to be first blood. So I was like, I don't think I lose. Because none of the stuff, like, negates. It just it disrupts. And I had no beer. <laughs> yeah. There is that. How was your week, though, Jay? Uh, my week was alright. I didn't get to play on Sunday. Because... Uh, Anyone who lives in Australia and specifically New South Wales knows at the moment there's quite heavy rain. Hence the uh, reason why there's only two of us here. Uh, yeah, uh, Blake's having some issues at home so uh, related subscribe. to the rain. We need we need monetization to pay for Blake's plus. Blake's parents' lake house. Yeah, their their lake <laughs> front property. Maybe we don't need subscription. <laughs> no, um, subscribe. So, uh, yeah, um, the issue that I had due to the rain is that uh, on my drive home, I uh, drove through quite a large puddle that I didn't see, so I was going reasonably fast, uh, and the resulting water that came up at my car uh, ripped my number plate off. And uh, the place that you go to replace your number plates is not open on Sundays. So I got a day at home. I found it really funny that on your birthday, someone was like, it's okay, yeah. Jake. For your birthday, I'm going to fix your number plate. Yeah. And then the next day you fucked it. <laughs> Not even the next day. It was like within the day. Um, well, it would have been midnight. So it was the next day. Uh, yeah. Okay. You left You left my place of residence at midnight. Yeah. Yeah. Close enough. Yeah. Um, so yeah, Sunday, stayed home, watched the Stranger Things finale, so it wasn't all bad. Oh yeah, we did invite Jake over to watch it and then watch it without him. Yeah. Yeah, that was fun. I was like, oh, good news, uh, this happened. And they're like, yeah, we're already watching we're, it. We're already <laughs> watching our second episode release, so... Yeah. Oh, well. It was good, though. Um, and then tonight, uh, playing Branded Despier again, because uh, I don't want to play the fairies for a while. Um, and they did well. Uh, so I beat um, a really haphazard Orcus list first, like, effectively, it was the buy. Um, game two was against uh, Branded Eldritch, um, which was a fun game. Um, I got to summon, um, I forget the big boy's name again. What's the big boy? Branded Eldritch? Eldritch? Uh, the, no, no, uh, the branded big boy. No, Despia big boy. Oh, uh, it's Priskinian. Yes, I got to summon Priskinian. Um, and I got to, uh, steal a mirror jade. That was really funny. Um, and then, <clears throat> excuse me. And then against, uh, Sword Soul in round three, I got to Priskinian reborn his, uh, 100 for every banish. Tonight. Yeah, I summoned it a lot. Because um, what I've realised, because um, it came up last week against Harry that I never want my second Albion sent to the graveyard because yeah. you need that to do things. 
So what I ended up doing was summoning Albion and then using Albion to recycle the other Albion and some other shit okay. and start putting stuff in deck. Okay, okay. Oh, well, no. Back. Just back. Well, no, it wouldn't have been Albion. It must have been... Yeah, no, it must have been the oh, other one. Fella. Lubellion. Yeah. Yeah, Lubellion shuffles stuff back. Um, all the Eons in that deck shop using them? Uh, Albion, Lubellion. Yeah. Are there any other Eons? Briskin Eon? No, he just summons things. Yeah, but he has an Eon at the end, so it doesn't count towards my point. So you continue. Correct. Uh, and then in the final, um, I versed another branded Eldritch player. Uh, game one, um, I set up a pretty subpar board. I didn't really have anything outside the standard Mirror Jade branded red thing. Um, and because he is playing branded Eldritch, he's also playing Super Poly. Uh, so he found it very easy to out my board. Um, game two, I kind of metagamed him. He probably assumed that I was going to pick first again, but I didn't. I picked second. Uh, he had a fairly weak opening as a result. He just sort of um, summoned Eldritch off of um, the normal spell elixir set to pass. Uh, Lightning Storm, summon the Mirror Jade, banish the Thingo. Um, and then put him basically to 300 life points with a uh, Bernie Dragon on the board. So it's like, yeah, that's affected the game. Uh, and then game three, he again just seemed to open Eldritch stuff, which was just Golden Lord set four pass. Um, but I opened no spell and trap removal, and he flipped Rivalry of Warlords. Uh, you can't really do anything of meaning uh, once that's on the board. Um, so I think it was like Lubellion summon Albion. I think, I think that, no, it wouldn't have been Albion. Dragons? I, no, Titanic Lab. I summoned Titanic Lab. Oh. So it was big enough to get over the Lord, but then the issue is Lord's in Grave. Yeah. Lord comes back, does the thing, blah, blah, blah. No, it's bigger. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that was um, not ideal. Um, but yeah, that's just, again, luck-based yeah. thing. I can't really do much about not opening things that I side in. There was a, yeah, a lot of times playing my deck tonight where I, I like treat the deck as a three card combo, but there were just times where it, that was just irrelevant. <laughs> like at one point I made full combo off two black wings and a hand trap. I was like, sure. One time I did full combo off a Nibiru a hand trap and a black wing. Yeah, so this is the thing that I always found funny about you calling that deck black wings is that black wings is what you see at the start. Yeah. At the end of that. Yeah. Very rarely are there any Blackwing cards to be seen. But there were situations where it was irrelevant, and I could just combo off regardless. Something really interesting that I had was, I think at one point I had... Uh, what did I have? Uh, it was, yeah, it was a hand trap Nibiru, went into Halk, summon a Blackwing, summon another Blackwing, uh, go into Dagda, and then managed to get the Scythe off, and then yeah. made the fucking TG... Got the pop. <laughs> it was so good. It was fun. Black wings. Black wings. It's basically based, but the B stands for birds. <laughs> yeah, it's not good. When you open well, you open well, but getting hand trapped is the problem. Yeah, that is the thing. Yeah. Um, Master Duel is uh, a bit of a boring time at the moment. Cause... I would really like new set that new stuff to drop. It just gonna, hasn't. It's going to be soon because the pack that has all of the sword soul and all that nonsense yep. expires soon. So then they're expires only... soon. Oh, is it like yeah, set time, as yeah, a yeah yeah? Okay. So it's saying it has X amount of days left. I can't remember how many days it says yeah. now. I think it's I think it was at three the last time I looked. Yeah, so it's really not got long until it expires. Hopefully, they but there's also that. no thing coming up about an update coming. So I don't know if they're like leaving it a little while. Um... And there's no, like, consistency in the days that they do it either. They've done updates on Mondays, on Fridays, on Thursdays. I so, I don't know when. I swear they were doing a ban list monthly. Because yeah, when the last ban to... list came out, it was, like, effective for a month. Yeah, that hasn't happened yet either. Yeah. Maybe that's maybe that's what they're holding off for. Maybe they have a mm. ban list planned for X a day. Like, no, um, I don't think they have a ban list planned for that game. They After really that need last to. ban list, I don't it, think it It was exists. a really weak ban list, and basically all it did was say, haha, fuck you, Eldritch. <laughs> like, that was the yeah. only deck that got here. And people still, still play, play Eldritch. <laughs> yeah. It's like... You have like, one oh pop. no, I put in more floodgates. Yeah, I have one pop. <laughs> I have three skill drain? <laughs> <laughs> I still have Imperial Lord. 
Yeah. Boop. I haven't run into that card lately, which is nice. But in, in saying that, I'm also running Sword Soul, so it's like, eh. Yeah. I, I haven't played Ranked in a while. Because I kind of just got stuck on Ranked and then just played one of them. Yeah, you were stuck on Diamond 4, I yeah. think you said last time. And now the things are reset, so you're down to Plat 5. Oh, that's it? Yeah, yeah, you only go oh. down. Yeah, so if you're a Diamond, you go to Plat 5. If you're okay. a Plat, you go to Gold 5 and so on and so on. I was watching something today where people were talking about how a bunch of players are just stuck in Gold. And I was like, how the fuck are you stuck <laughs> in Gold? Why can't my blue eyes get yeah. past gold? It, it was a bunch of people playing rogue decks being like, we need a casual ladder so I can get out of gold. And I was like, what? You need to play better decks. Or at least play your shit deck better. It, it's as if those people who normally would like sit online and just be like, bad deck is good. You can't change my mind. You are a meta sheep. <laughs> now get exposed to having to play against people playing better decks than them. And they just suck. And they're like, I need a casual mode. I've offended a lot of people. If I offended you, make sure to comment down below. <laughs> yes, because we want to find out who you are. And then ban you. <laughs> I won't ban you. You're always welcome. This, but, this isn't your channel. <laughs> I have enough control. I have the logon <laughs> details now. Um, I can do whatever I want. But yet, I've never understood that logic of like, oh, this is doing better than me, therefore I need this to go away. Like, no link, no XCs, no fusion, no. <laughs> but it's like, it's such a closed minded, like, sheltered attitude towards doing anything. It's like, if you're not good enough to do X, you can't just say, oh, can you, like, stop being as good as you are so that I can feel better about myself? If you do better to make yourself feel better. If someone's doing the, like, no links, no fusion, no XCs, no synchro, no hand traps, what do they do when you just play Thunderix? Do they, like, does their brain melt? Oh, can you imagine what that dude did when, like, that came out and he's sitting there with, like, no synchros, no Xyz, no uh, links, no anything, and someone turns up and he's like, what do these do? do like, you're... you're normal summoning again. Also, do you reckon again? most people are just playing Inspect Border? <laughs> again? Possibly. They're like, imagine... No, oh, no imagine link, no fusion, that. no Xyz, no synchro, no hand traps. Normal summon Inspector Border? The... <laughs> The thing is, I just don't know whether they're quite that witty. I think it's like they just want to go back to uh, base set Yu-Gi-Oh release. They're not. They're not advertising that though. They're just saying that they hate extra deck summoning mechanics and they want you to play main deck stuff. They expect and you I've to play like 2007 Monarch. And the thing is, I've never invested the time into finding out what they play. Also, I think I tried joining once, and he just kept rejecting me. Whoever this was, like I was like. I'm prepared to verse you. I wasn't. I was like, I think I was playing like the most assholey deck that I could find that I'd already had built and he just kept rejecting me. I'm like, There was fine. one time I joined one of those games and I won. And I was literally playing like the biggest joke I could have possibly played. So remember when, uh, instead of getting Halka Fibrax, we got uh, the Sonic Chick Summoner? Scrambled Egg? <laughs> Scrambled Egg, yeah. I was playing Scrambled Egg Control. <laughs> that involves you using the Scrambled Egg to summon the Sonic Chick, equipping your Moo Mirror Shield, <laughs> and then just going, boop, boop, boop. Uh, you also played stuff to like recycle your deck, so your opponent would actually deck you out, because you're just doing the 100 damage. <laughs> it is not enough damage to feasibly win. That sounds like the closest you could get to playing Mystic Mind without playing Mystic Mind. Pretty much. you're like, you can't out this. But also, I'm going to kill you yeah. real slow. This is 100, 100. Because I think Sonic Chick also just attacks directly, but you equip with the Moon Mirror Shield, so it's just the 100 hits. Jesus Christ. It, that should bring us to some news, shouldn't it, Jake? It absolutely should. Um, so we have the announcement of the next OTS, without even having received what is the next OTS. But the one card they've announced already better than anything we've had in the past three OTSs. Oh, oh, it's... Excuse me. It's Ghost Reaper and Winter Cherries. It is not better. They gave us a hand trap and it's ultimate. That nobody uses. That's fine. There'll be formats where you want it. Sure. That's he your said only... sure. He agreed. He agreed. He agreed. I agreed there'll be formats that you want to use it. I didn't agree yeah. that it deserves an ulti slot. We're also going to be in Splat format. What? Was that a big sign against Splat? It was at first. Until Tier Elements got at like first. slightly better. Until people figured that deck out. Yeah, it was a card you cited. The Gigantic Splite. 
There were two tier element decks that just had a gigantic slight in their in their extra. I like, still do not believe that this is an extra deck slot. Uh, like, sorry, a ulti slot that is justified. Like I if, think if you were complaining totally about like Albaz and Ecclesia and yep. Zeus and fucking Fusion Destiny yep. as ulti slots, yep. when only some decks were using it, it wasn't like it already had a printing that people could use. Yes. What's the difference here? Well, printing for Ghost Ogre, um, Ghost Reaper, long time ago. It's been a while since we have a Ghost Reaper reprint. Like, that is a bullshit justification. Nonstop. Ulti is not no, the no, reprint no. people I'm, need. I'm not implying that it's the reprint that we need. I'm saying it's been a while, so it's not like we got the card last fucking week and then they're giving us no ulti. Like, for example, Albaz. Had, had... Albaz has been out for a year and a half. Ecclesia as well. These are cards that... Also a year and a half. Came have, from the same set. Have been floating around, being played, and they're like, ulti. Also, one of those OTS packs came out six months ago. Yeah. At least. Anyway, yeah. So, card. Yeah, versatile. You can just kind of side it in any format. That's what I think ulti should be, is just the generic side cards that you can just put in anything, anytime you need to. Whenever shit hits the fan, you can be like, yep, in you go. Like, I have, like, ulti Twin Twisters. Twin Twisters is not good in most formats, but it's a good ulti to have because you can just put it into your deck. I don't like archetypal ultis that will get hit on a ban list. I can't... S- or of, the, of the stuff that's around them will get hit. It's the reason why Brilliant Fusion is effectively... It should be a worthless ulti. It's been bought out because people think it's going to come off the ban list with the new Gem Knight stuff, but I it's forgot nasty. about the new Gem Knight stuff. Uh, yeah, but it's situations like that where the engine around it gets hit so the ulti becomes worthless. I don't like seeing that because long term it's bad for the value of the sets. Conversely, I don't think that like the like because you were saying before when we we're talking about those other ultis that part of it is that some people like to play those cards, sure, but realistically, it's people that want to pull those cards to then sell them. I don't think you'd get that value from Ghost Reaper. Initially, sure, That's there fine. might be some people that want to like, pay big money for it, but long-term, I can't see that card being huge amounts of money because it is a super situational format-driven side card that is only relevant when something becomes like effectively tier zero. That also comes down to like whatever an OTS's policy is regarding like ultimate rares and prizing distribution. Because, like, yeah... Oh, I got. I need to get an ultimate rare to get money back to make value for this game is relevant in a situation where your OTS support isn't that great and like it's not Konami's fault if they print an ulti that you can't go and sell on the secondary market for $300 like that's not their problem their problem is did we print ultis that you need? kind of? okay here you go Anyway, I don't think it's a good ulti. Feel free to comment below or I think it's in a good our ulti. Discord uh, what you believe. I'd uh, still much prefer other ultis, but I think this is a good ulti because it's versatile. Look, yeah. you can play it in anything. It's fine. It's, that's a good ulti. If it's 40 bucks, you'll catch me buying three. No questions asked. I'm oh, buying three. If it's 40 three. bucks, I'll buy multiple. That way, if we do get to a T0 format, sell, sell, sell. There you go. <laughs> Yeah, I have all these. Uh, moving on to other news, we have uh, a new archetype has been announced. Uh, following on from Branded. Uh, checking my browser for one. Sorry. A random thing has just come up and I've never seen it before in my life. Here we go. Uh, the... He's got his phone hacked on YG organization. <laughs> Look, wouldn't surprise me. Um, we have the Bisted theme. Uh, so these are a bunch of effectively chaos dragons. Um, so all sort of linked loosely to Albaz. Uh, they do some stuff with their own branded spell trap, but you can integrate them in uh, to uh, like branded Despia kind of thing. Uh, uh, really good with chaos space, funnily enough. I'm kind of just sick of getting Albaz law support. It. The way that I feel about Albaz support is that Konami's turned around and they've gone, 
Yu-Gi-Oh! Sevens is not a good anime. We can't really make any new cards based on it. Well, yeah, what this, if we this just is the supported thing. the one fucking law line for the next two years? Well, this is the thing, right? They used to have the anime to draw off. They used exactly. to be able to go, these are your anime cards, and then there's this pool over here, which is the current law run. Yeah. They don't have that anymore. Well, they do, but like it's a completely different game. So yeah. they can't just be like, yeah, here's your anime shit. Some of it's good, some of it's... Like, it, it's just so bland. Is it? Like, it's just been so long. Like, at first, the Albaz Law stuff was great. Like, we're pretty much... What came after Spriggins? Uh, was that after when we got Spriggins the branded stuff? Spriggins was uh, Tribegate, wasn't it? No, that was before. I know, Tribegate, Spriggins, and then uh, Despia. Yeah. Like, at that point, I'm like, yeah, sweet. We're going fine. But, like, continuing it, like, find something new. It's been good for, the, like, the concept of lore on cards as a whole. It's, it's just too much. But here's the thing. They have started a different lore. But it's but for whatever reason, lore this... within the lore. No, it isn't. Like, these new cards? No, no, no. These cards are still oh, Albaz okay. lore, but they have started a new lore. The um, Visa Star Frost. That's something completely different. No, that also just kind of sucks, though. <laughs> Tier element. Oh, that's a part of that? Yeah. Oh, okay. What's Splatter Puddle? Uh, it's Albaz Law. Yep. I know. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's on fucking kit. Uh, yeah. I hate Albaz. They just need to come up with something new. Um, just anyway, before. Give us a new anime, man. Fuck Seven. They. Okay, so here's the thing. Like. It doesn't address your problem, but I wanted them to do like a arcane um, type series on the Yu-Gi-Oh lore for the longest time. That seems like this is what they're setting up with the Albaz stuff, but like they've got another fucking anime coming out. Wait, they've got another one? No, like they've got Sevens coming out instead. It seems like Ugh. they should have just not done Sevens and done that kind of thing. It just did a weekly lore based show. Surely they could do that as well. Sure. Or like have like a world within a world. I don't know, come up come up with a reason. Like they've it. made a World of Warcraft movie, which as far as I'm aware was dog shit. They've made Arcane, which was like highly regarded as a great series, and I'm actually looking forward if they do a second. I don't know how they would I do just a second. Kinda of don't care about that show. Look, I don't I couldn't give a shit about the the thing that it came from. Yeah, that's probably the reason why I just don't give a shit about it. But that's the thing. I don't. I didn't care about where it came from, but it just looked like a decent series. I watched it eventually. Granted, I fell asleep three times while trying to watch it. Uh, But that was unrelated. I just watched it four times. I recommended. Anyway, to swing back to this. um, Yeah, Banish Your Dragons. They set the spells and traps from deck. The spells and traps are actually really good. Uh, When a card's banished, you can put it back into the deck and draw one. Uh, That's either player. Uh, So against Flundery, you can start putting their shit back. Put a card from Banish back? Yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, just put back the, the Rubina. Put back Eaglin. Eaglin. Well, assuming you go Field Spell, Reveal, oh, yeah. Rubina, which is the general line. Yeah. Um, And then their trap as well is like, um, if you control the Bisted Monster, Tribute a Dragon, target uh, something and destroy it, and then during the end phase, uh, target... Uh, if, they've, if you've got one, one of the continuous spells in the grave and uh, put it back on the board. It does some things. I kind of like it. I like the fact that it's like dragon support that's semi-generic and also like you can splash it into your I, branded... I just don't want to see more branded support. <laughs> okay. Alright. Just... Ben, ben has had enough of the branded support. My, my brain. We, we will... Konami, please. It's alright. We will move on. Just come up with something else. At least... I'm, I'm now going to say it and it's going to be wrong. There's not fucking splite stuff that says summon albaz from deck no because the splite stuff is like when um kit and the other spriggans and stuff um went off to another world that's where they started fighting the therion because therion is technically albaz law but it's like a spin-off series so much like remember when they used to do law blocks on a year and they'd do like a year of law and then they'd change it Look, I'm getting yeah. way too engaged in Yu-Gi-Oh! lore. I'm not normally big on Yu-Gi-Oh! lore. I'm just sick of just getting the same stuff. Look, it's fine. It's fine. Look, we'll, mo- it, we'll move on from, we'll move on from the Bistic because I know it's upsetting you. It's okay? upsetting me a lot. Uh, we move on. To a new Ecclesia! 
<laughs> I thought that was our distant cousin. I no. thought that was included. No, no, it, no, it isn't. Uh, so uh, this one super similar to the last ecclesia that we got. Um, if you have Albaz on field of grave special summons itself, um, but this one's like a quick poly on turn, um, off turn. So during the main phase, fusion summon, and then like the other ecclesia, if there's a fusion in the graveyard during the end phase, she bounces back to hand. The weird thing that I've found, and it's happened three times now, is they keep giving Albaz tuners. Ecclesia, the first, the second Ecclesia, the, um, the whatever it was, the Virtuous. Um, I understood why she was a tuner, because she did things for Sword Soul. I get that. They're, oh, that one. I yeah. Get, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Uh, I think it, I think she's still called Ecclesia the Virtuous. She's just not Dogmatica. Okay. Um, I think she's like amazing Ecclesia or some bullshit like that. Anyway, I should um, sell mine. I just have them sitting on my desk. They've been on my desk since I stopped playing Sword Soul six months ago. Well, I had one and was planning to buy a heap because I was like, "Oh, this would come up in um, branded." Hasn't. No. Oh. That's the reason I kept it. <laughs> Hasn't. Well, and they're still it. worth money. They're like sixty bucks each or something. I should sell it tomorrow. Yes. Available for purchase from Nolan TCG. Um, circling back to my point, so that one I understand because it's to do with Sword Soul. Yeah. Then they gave them another tuner in the structure deck. Which I've not read. Um, it's ten, it, yeah, I don't know what it does, um, but it's also a, a level four spellcaster tuner. And now this one's a tuner that does a fusion summon effect. Is Albaz getting a synchro? Uh, eventually, they'll get a synchro, and it'll say during the end phase, I uh, this card was sent to the graveyard. Special summon Albaz or a Sword Soul from deck. I don't understand it. I'm impressed. Now that I've come up with that card, I'm impressed that doesn't exist already. I was surprised it doesn't exist either. Yeah, I that... thought there would have been a random sword soul um, thing because they've done that with literally every other archetype. Yep. We just get sword soul Albaz the victorious. <laughs> and he's <laughs> he has an effect that lets you slap your opponent in the face. And then in phase, if he goes to graveyard, you special summon Albaz. <laughs> Her mother was a hamster. <laughs> <laughs> opponent calls judge it's like judge it says it on the card he's like yep and then the judge also slaps your opponent <laughs> he's like sorry I just want to check that it resolved properly <laughs> <laughs> oh sorry I declared the slap <laughs> <laughs> alright now we will actually move on from okay. Alba's law uh, we have some fur hire support it's actually not bad have you I've, I've read it I appreciate it but it doesn't get around the fact that first for higher stuff says negate. Do not destroy him. Yeah, true. It doesn't actually negate anything. Yeah. Which is actually, like, kind of annoying because their link three gets pluses if something's destroyed. Yeah. Like, it's it's also just kind of weak. So, like, <laughs> yeah, if you negate something, it's like, oh, cool, it didn't get destroyed, it just attacked over me. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, look, it, gi it gives them the ability to set up a, a more like consistent turn one board that's yeah. that's the main thing about it yeah th these cards really good for fur hire consistency just not that good like fur hire it doesn't fix fur hire's problem like i i really enjoyed playing fur hire when it came out and it's just doesn't stop your opponent like it interacts with your opponent but it doesn't stop your opponent. It's really the kindest of the decks that are out there. Yeah. It says no, but it doesn't say no. It's like, no. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> Please don't do that. Please no. And then your opponent's like, no, I attack. Boop. <laughs> <laughs> the, yeah, look, I appreciate the fact that they're giving some older yeah. decks some support. That's always I, nice. I also appreciate it. However, just give them... I guess you it's tough to make for hire busted because you can't go back and arrive those cards and you can't just turn around and be like well they should just print the same cards but better like I'm doing right now but <laughs> yeah they need either a counter trap that does something that's really easily searchable or yeah but I don't really want them to get that though and it's not because they don't deserve it sure give them something but I feel like a counter trap is like always their go to response when a deck just needs something. Realistically, that link two should have searched like a Salamine Great Roar. Well, they the starter one searches a spell and trap. Like beat? No no no, the new one. They've got the link two and they've got the little dino dude. Oh okay. 
Well, the little dino dude should search a trap card. The trap card should say, destroy one card in the field for each for the higher you control. Oh, that big bastard. Well, yeah. You need something to make that deck busted. No, I think I that should be the support they get. Use my ideas, Konami. <laughs> and then pay us for it. Um, uh, you don't have to pay me to send me product. <laughs> that, that would be also nice. Yeah. Um, and then finally, we have a V Jump promo that has been announced. Can't wait to get V Jump promo. Uh, you never know. They've been decent at releasing them in like a timely manner. But they just kind of sneak them. They don't make a big deal about it, and you're like, oh shit, that released? Well, okay. Yeah. Look, for the most part, they've been very blah, blah, like kind of shit. Uh, ever, ever since they better... stopped giving them to America first, they've yeah. been terrible. It's kind of. Good that they don't just give them to America first, though. I appreciate that we get it at the same time. But at the same time, make them better. <laughs> yeah, like, there needs to be a happy medium of, like, we can both have it and it can both just be okay. I swear there's also just still a bunch of those cards we don't have. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Um, but the new Watch one... The new one that has been announced is Green Ninja. Green Ninja? Green Ninja. Green Ninja? Green Ninja. We don't want to get sued. No. Yes. I'm surprised I haven't, like, capitalised the E's. <laughs> Green! <laughs> Green! Uh, level 2 wind. Um, it's basically flip monster support. Um, I can't remember what ninjas do if they flip summon or not, but if they do, it's helpful. Um, so, yeah, it's... Um, Search a ninja card. Uh, no. Oh. <laughs> what it does. Uh, basically, if a monster is special summoned, uh, target uh, one of them and special summon it and flip that monster face down. Um, it's oh to your field so yeah it's not a hand trap to like foolish I mean book of moon your opponent which would actually be really good if it did that fun. however um, and if it's sent from the hand or field to the graveyard uh, target monster on your field and flip it to face up attack or defense okay so like does it not work in penguins and can you not it could work in penguins can I you don't think... Penguin Ninja and this card into Hanzo Link 2. Potentially. That'd be funny. Potentially. If the Great Ninja Link 2 requires two ninja monsters and you go oh this my God, and does Penguin it? Ninja. Oh my god. Oh my god. Penguin Ninja deck? Oh, please. <laughs> That'd be funny. I need to find out now. Where's the link? But What's it called again? Uh, I think it's like Gren... I don't know. It's Hanzo maybe? I I'm just making up names that are in that archetype. There is a ninja Grandmaster link. something? Here it is. Uh, two ninja monsters. <laughs> you can make it some penguin. Penguin ninja! Lachlan, get onto it. N penguin ninja and green ninja. No, not that. Sorry, green ninja. <laughs> we don't want to get sued. <laughs> um, yeah, look, that's... Other than our brilliant idea of mixing uh, the two amazing archetypes of penguins and ninjas together... Uh, not a great deal of application for it, but you know what? It's flip decks. They need all the help they can get. Ninja's never been better. <laughs> <laughs> uh, moving on to our uh, YouTube and uh, what's it called? Discord comments. Uh, so if you weren't aware, we do have a Discord. The link will be down in the description if you want to jump in, say hi, uh, and ask us questions. I'm really disappointed, Jake. Last week... I read through the questions that were available and you didn't read some good questions out. That's alright, maybe there's an opportunity for me to read them out tonight. I didn't pick the questions, I'd like to highlight that. Oh, already. okay. Yeah, I looked at the questions on the Discord and I was like, there's some good questions here that we haven't answered. Why don't we not answer these? Uh, yeah. So, from our podcast, uh, we have Mars Lol has asked, uh, that sure was an intro. Anyways, I'm, I still don't know what I'm playing at Nats, but I do know it's probably Salad or... Uh, Lyra the Stry or Marincess or Striker. That's a lot of oars there, buddy. <laughs> That's a lot of oars. You need um, to make that at least two oars. No three. Um, I'm just filtering through these. I uh, think maybe play Salad. Don't play Striker. People will be anticipating Striker. Yeah, people will be anticipating. Actually, ooh, I changed my mind. Definitely play Striker. And definitely play Pose List uh, that turboed into Mystic Mind. And then win. And get Mystic Mind banned. Yes. Yeah. Let's play Mystic Mind. Everyone it. plays Striker Mind. I'll give you permission. Yeah, everyone play it. Literally everybody. Um. Yeah, but we still have no announcement of. Um, we don't have an announcement for WCQ. WCQ. American Nats is coming up. 
That would be cool. Actually, I think um, Euros was announced as well. WCQ or Nats? Uh, well, if it's they played Euro- if it's yeah, yeah, so it's Euros. It's their WCQ thing. Interesting. I think it's in Germany. Interesting. Well, according to the rumors, ours is in New Zealand, but yeah, yeah. and you it'll have be that on a Saturday, so I double won't be able to go. <laughs> Take time off. It, well, that's the thing. If it's far enough in advance, I might be able to get time off. It's getting pretty close, considering it seems as though it would be an August thing. Yeah, it pretty much needs to be announced within the next week. And even then, my bosses are also on leave in August. So if it coincides with when they're on leave, I have zero chance. Imagine having your invite for three years and not being able to use it. Imagine. I don't have to imagine. (laughs) Uh, (laughs) uh, Then we have uh, Rocket Launcher uh, asked us, any chance we can see your agent list? No. (laughs) <laughs> Jake didn't like his agent list well that's the thing yeah like if I'd put more time into it it might have been better but I just I couldn't I, it I could not it did cute ha- things it did cute things but at the same time those cute things did not result in winning and I as I've explained in a very recent podcast uh, am quite competitive uh, so repeated losses tend to drive me a little crazy that's uh, fine it's not it's I need to fine. win uh, from the discord we have uh, six i eight Six, I think. Six? Six. Uh, while we're on the topic of uh, the theme of censorship, uh, with Tier Element being the latest scantily clad ladies set, will they censor it for the TCG from the get-go for release or uh, for a LART Lost Art set release later? Or will we see the set as it is art-wise? I think we'll see a censorship and never see an art a lot. I don't think this is something... I don't think that for. they're like... Super. I think there's bad. two that are like Ravili. They're not like, check it out. This is what I've got going on. But you know, they're skin. Yeah, but I, I get the feeling that like if they're releasing all these lots of like the Harpy layers and stuff that they've had restricted and relatively recent stuff as well, like Harpy Conductor, they did as a. It's a also lot. it's more I've, like a fan favorite archetype though. Yeah, but like the the point I was getting onto that was like if they're releasing that, yeah. surely they're becoming less like caring about that yeah well it's i guess it's still more of like a it's the difference between going to an ots and willingly asking for a lot and it just being included in a pack that little billy's picked up from a kmart i guess if that's that's your differentiation you're going to go and get the lots you're not buying into little billy yeah interesting way to phrase that uh, yeah, I was gonna try and <laughs> I was gonna go into that more and imply something, but no, I'm not gonna imply Jeff Lamp. <laughs> <laughs> Crowbat Five has asked us. Uh, here's another question: What were your thoughts on the legendary doors uh, from the deep uh, set? Uh, my thoughts is you only buy it if you want droplets or you have a water deck. Uh, my thoughts is neither. My thoughts is you buy the singles if you want them. Uh, if you want to crack packs, that is not where to do it. Crowbat five. If you're in North America, just use TCG Player. Don't yes. don't buy the don't buy the packs. If you're in Australia, go fuck. Good yourself. luck to you. Yeah, <laughs> you're in Australia. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, you don't get shit. Uh, the fuck is this? Oh, okay. He's not um, <laughs> he's not um updated everything yet, and it still has like uh down the bottom, uh Jake and Blake uh bandless reactions. <laughs> I was like, hmm. Bandless reactions? That was from a while back. How, how was your reaction to the bandless, Jake? Uh, positive, for the most part. Positive, for the most part. Um, but yeah, those are the only two questions that uh, I have on my list. Did you think have any particular questions that you remember? I currently do not have a mobile phone. Well, let me jump in and see. It was like, the, there was a question above the question we answered last week, and I was like, that's a good question. We never answered this. Love um, no, we did that one. Podcast on the fly. Well, it's just because it feels short because we don't have Blake rambling on about fucking birds. Yeah, this uh, is valid, but <laughs> I think we've been going for a while. Um, Podcast uh, on the fly. This one could be it. Yeah. Um, what are your opinions on the collector seller side of Yu-Gi-Oh? Yes, um, this is it. Yeah. Yes. Um, I just met someone who has nearly no interest in the game but loves the collection of random cards. Um, I never knew there were people who were generally only interested in that part, especially since a lot of players don't like having random bulk. Um, 
I interact with these people a lot. Like, it is the bulk of the Yu-Gi-Oh customer base at my work is people that I have never played a game of Yu-Gi-Oh against, and I go to literally every place you can go to. That Like, I have interacted with every single Yu-Gi-Oh locals in our area, and, yeah, mountains of people will just come in and buy Yu-Gi-Oh product, and it's like, yeah, just, just want to open it, just want to collect like the amount of ghosts from the past that I've sold to people that have just been like, I just want to put it under my bed and open it in five years. I'm just like, okay, no problem, man. Now I've had people come in and buy branded structure decks. And I'm like, oh, cool. Like, do you play? And he's like, they'd be like, yeah, I play with my mates. I just know this is good, so I bought it. I'm like, it's your own Like, no problem. Yeah, and then there's like the hardcore collectors who will be like, yeah, I want uh, a box of um, like Light of Judgment and stuff like that, and they yeah. just sit on that stuff for ages. Um, yeah, look, it's fine. Um, like I think we talked about it a couple of weeks back on the podcast. The issue that it can sometimes cause in this game is that um, five years down the track, a uh, random deck like, say, let's just say Mermails uh, becomes relevant again. And then the collectors that happen to have multiple of these cards are just sitting on piles of yeah. money effectively because like people are just like oh this deck becomes good I want it in its highest rarity and then yeah uh, people that have no mails can afford a house because Ooh. they sell yeah. <laughs> their mobile core luckily I don't think you use at the point where people hoarding product will cause an issue in the market like, I hope not, because there has been a bit of that over COVID, like people just literally buying up staples and yeah. stuff like that. Like, I'm fairly sure in, correct me if I'm wrong, any viewers, but in like uh, stuff like basketball cards, there is an issue with supply. There's there's a lot more supply than you'd think there is looking at their market, simply because so much of it is people being like, it's not opening it. I just bought up three grand worth of product and not going to open it and that's one of the more common like things you see in those games where they're like or games collections I was, I was about to say there's yeah. actually games you can play nah. with collector baseball cards yeah no nah. I think it, it's those people like in 20 years if there's a card in here for a player that's become good the sealed pack will be worth more than me opening it because like you open it you don't get the card but if you have the sealed pack, there's a chance. Uh, it's the mystery yeah, box. Yeah, so like X card could be two thousand dollars and you can sell the pack for five hundred, but if you open the pack and it's garbage, it's worth five cents. We didn't get LeBron James, we got the mystery box. Yeah, we got that Just mystery in. box. <laughs> I don't think I have ever personally interacted with in saying all of this with someone who goes and buys singles for a collection but doesn't play you. I've yeah, I've met people that have like have switch to that yeah um, but I've never met someone who's just always done that yeah I've never met them but I suppose you wouldn't either because if they're buying singles they've got no real reason to interact yeah. with you as a yeah. product seller um, there's a guy that lives next door who just yeah. has an eBay page and has a bunch of really cool stuff on there have never interacted with in my life apparently Bragg once bumped into him on the bus <laughs> that's it like, this this is the guy I got my Kawago Hercules from. So, like, Italian Kawago Hercules, I got it for, like, 100 bucks. Like, good and, deal. Wait, and he was next door? He dude just lives next door. <laughs> yeah. I'm like... I'm telling you, you need to get, like, something under his door so that he knows that, like, hey, if you're cracking recent stuff, or even if you've got this old stuff, hit me up. I have done that in the past, but he just doesn't like interacting with people. Yeah, I get I, that. Like, I don't... <laughs> get it it's like there's been times before where I've ordered something I literally literally live next door and he's posted it I'm like dude you could have just walked over like slipped it under the door yeah and there's other times I've like wanted something like ASAP I'm like hey man like I buy from you all the time has your return address on here we live very close can I just like organize to pick it up just doesn't respond and I'm like I get that you, like, don't want to interact with people on that level, but, like, at least message me. <laughs> yeah, just answer and say, no. Yeah, just be like, no, sorry, man, I prefer to keep distance. No problem. Would it completely understand that? Just tell me, please. If you watch the podcast. 
We should be friends, man. <laughs> we should be friends. You live just there. Just over there. I believe that will conclude us for tonight. Yes. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you have missed Blake, uh, please get onto his channel and tell him so, uh, so that he does not miss this again. Uh, subscribe to his channel so you can afford to repair his local property. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you do have any questions for next week, feel free to jump into our Discord, like I said, and uh, let us know. And we'll see you all next time. Bye.